been so far. Slides are a bad idea. Yep, we took off that cupboard because um, last night the other one jammed. And this one. And it kicked this slide out of position so the rack and pinion is off. So we'll have to get that repaired or figure that out on the gears. So we can't use this slide for now. That uh, lasted zero nights. Never got to it. Zero nights on the road, anyway. Zero nights on the road. And all of these shelves. We're not secured. So we probably could have ex yeah, guessed that. Yeah, I that knew all, that was gonna happen. I that all fell it. out. But once we got going 70 miles per hour, some of these things fell off, the kitchen chairs, but that's fine. Everything else uh, is stable. We left the truck and the RV in the Walmart parking lot and that went well, except I'm pretty sure, well, I know that I left it unlocked. I'm pretty sure that my phone charger and sunglasses were stolen. So better than the truck being stolen, but you know, lesson learned there. Some of the molding popped off on the RV. We got that pushed back in. I saw it flapping around in the wind as I was driving down the road. And the van AC stopped working. And then of course we have the e-brake issue from the first day of I pushed the box in the back of the cargo in the back of the truck and that pulled the e-brake and so we drove out our half mile up and down hilly gravel roads with the trailer electronic brakes slowing us down and burning, and burning rubber or what or you know what not rubber but smoking to the point where it was ready to catch fire so that was not good but besides the e-brake issue and the broken slide and the cut door and the AC not working and the molding falling off and the stolen charger. It's gone great. Everything's good. It's funny because it's so like it's day two. It's so nerve-wracking to figure like to to get here to a place to um disembark and the anxiety of like what's gonna be inside when we open up the door is something gonna break is a slide not gonna be able to come out like it's really it's been really uh anxiety provoking and we weighed in and we're overweight by about a thousand pounds so we'll have to unload probably like all those books or some of those books we'll figure that out but other than that i mean we'll, we'll everyone should it. do this this is perfect <laughs> Ready. So these are the stairs, and then this is the bed. These are this is the food. This is this plate. This bowl. This is a desk. TV. Remote. Hat. And then a balcony. And then his table. And then a little foot. Okay. So. This is her glow. This is her computer slash TV. This is her bed. These are different types of globes. This is her phone remote control. And then mobile. And then ice cream. And then this is everlasting ice cream. And then this is a party hat that can fit on her. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> That's funny. And then, um, I just made it crazy. These are nice. foods, and uh, we found the, uh, these caps mm -hmm. on, on the ground. They were all scattered and stuff. Mm -hmm. Clever. See, there's so many fun things out here. It's awesome. Thank It was a school day. Colby was doing schoolwork right here, earlier, in the bathroom complex. Because he 
to close the door. Okay. So my mom helping Grace on the stairs. Colby's doing a reading. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, last one. Spray. Spray assignment. Tray. Tray. Caitlin is doing okay. Spanish practice over there. Can you do my yes, and math? Allie is doing mental math. Right. Good. Dada. And Allie is. Dada. Stop. Ellie is dadding stopping. Right, <laughs> it's fall time, so we decorated for the fall. Stickers there here at the Calif California foothills outside of Los Angeles, north of Los Angeles. It's a beautiful 70 degrees. This is Colby working on his math with mom. Here are the girls. Lane. Their favorite toys. <clears throat> Their favorite type of dolls. Oh, they're not dolls. Yeah, they're not dolls. They're highly sophisticated lake interconnecting Lego bricks. That's really what I was just going to say. I'm building a cat cafe. Don't forget to return the dish. Done. This is Pink's part. Um, and her bestie, Sparky, is at the vet, so she's bringing her some food. Because she loves me. Look. Sparky! It's an animal thing, and there's something where you could put stuff in it. Eight times four is 32. 32 birds are drinking too. Eight times four is 32. 32 birds are drinking too. Eight times four is 32. Made it back on the road. Nathan was able to manually get the slides to go back in. So I've got Caitlin and Ellie in the car with me. Colby and Grace are in the car with Dad. And we're waiting to get into cell phone service range so that we can listen to a book on tape. For the bean, look right here. For the what? Move your right hand. I see that beam. Does it have haziness around it? Yeah. Watching the solar eclipse. What's the bean? The beam. It looks like a. Looks like a bean. A light bean. That has like it's glowing. What causes the bean shape? The eclipse. Pretty cool. I think the beam is the sun, and the wind is making it look like a beam. That's right. Oh, now, now it looks like more like a circle. Although the sun's gonna make its own shape. Nita. Plain Legos in the RV. My question is. What do you guys do with Legos in such a small space? We play with them and make cats like this. See, the ladybug mm -hmm. is the nose, yep. and that's the mouth, and those are the whiskers, and then it's standing. You can make I stuff see. like this, or you can make houses like this, or this. 
or like that. No, and wait, excuse me, I still want to talk wrong. about my stuff. Does everyone have their own Lego box? Or? Yes. So you keep your Legos separate? Yes. What? Can you share? What? What's? What's one of your? What's one of your favorite things about living in an RV? Everything. I love it. I like the. Are we answering all the questions? Yeah, she sort of is. Guys, this is a video. So what's your most favorite part about living in an RV? Legos to make cats like this. What's everyone's favorite part about living in an RV? Um, um, so, like, um, we get to sleep and bump, and we get to play with these cute little Legos, and we get to go places, and we get to play, and then this is my pet store, and there's some animals, and see. then these are um. animals. And this is the horsey place, and what, then... What were you going to say, Caitlin? Um, I really like playing with Legos because it's so fun, and also I really like online school because that way I connect, connect with other people from around the world. And I also like that whenever I ask someone else to where I'm from, I say Missouri, they're like, that's so far away. Mm -hmm. And that's just fun. Kobe, what do you like about living in an RV? What do you like about living in an RV? Because you have mini, mini beds, and they'll kind of look hard but squishy, and um, um, you get to meet friends on the way, you know, stuff like that. Anything to add, Ellie? Um, you did not to talk. What's the hardest thing about living in an RV? Ellie, what do you think? You said not to talk. Can you tell me? Well, sharing space. Being nice to each other. Actually, I think sharing Legos is really hard because we all fight mm -hmm. over which Legos. What do you say, that? Caitlin? Sharing space and um, being together at night because we're all super crazy at night. So it's do you think you're becoming better friends or better enemies? Better friends. Better friends. friends. What are some things that help you be better friends? Um, sharing. Sharing Legos and like down. giving all your best stuff and I gave away all my stuff. And what's, I gave away the cat pose. What's been your favorite adventure that we've done so far? Uh, beaches. Yeah, beaches. Yeah, beaches. Any other favorite adventure, Colby, City. so far? Nope, I have no idea what to choose. Would you guys recommend someone live in an RV or say not do it? Recommend. recommend. I would say, hey, you should live in an RV, not just drive around with sleeping bags and a tent in, your, in the back of your car. Yeah, so RV is better than sleeping bag and tents. Caitlin, what do you think? Mm, depends on where you are and what you're doing. It's a good point. Any if final? Like, if you have one person, then yes, I recommend it. If you're like a family of 17, then no, do not do it, even if you decide, you, even if you find the right RV. So 17 is too many. Is, yes, is six too many? Hold on. No. Seven and six and a half is too many. If mm. you have like another six person. Six is just right, huh? Like it would explode. Hey, have fun playing Legos. Thank you. Look at Allison. Such a domestic homemaker. Quilting even in an RV. Look at that. That is dedication. Definitely not quilting. And how has your life been the past couple weeks? Um, pretty okay. <sighs> Ups and downs. Sometimes I feel a little bit discouraged and sometimes I feel hopeful. I think we learned that uh, we need to dump more often because if it uh, stays there like a couple days, it starts to stink a lot. So that's good to learn that. And I'm learning that four days is too quick. It feels that we're moving like all the time. A lot of it is like just 
thinking when you don't want to do something, you should just do it. Like yeah, the dishes, yeah. you should just do them. And except dishes, I don't do dishes. Because it will be inconvenient later. Job. Never do yourself what kids can do. That's my rule. <laughs> except for uh, that, then you have to eat off of gross dishes if the kids do the dishes. Yeah, that's true. Teach them to do the dishes. Apparently, we've never taught the kids to do the dishes. Oh, no. We have taught the kids to do the dishes. Well, I, figure, you know, I don't know. Like, by dishes by hand, like, because they, yeah. they, like, rinse them, but then it's like, no, use soap. So then they, like, put soap on and then rinse the soap off and then scrub it. So then they scrub the top, but not the bottom. And then they, like, stack it all. Yeah. So somehow I'm finding, like, crusties and grease things and all sorts of stuff on my dishes. Yeah. But, but now that you know. we have, like, less going on, we can take time to, like, teach the kids things like that. Theoretically. In more, in more thorough detail. Yes. And in a calm, relaxed environment where they will retain it instead of just yes. barking at them when they yes. do it wrong. Calm and relaxed. That's the hope. Good. That's the good. That's what um, we're shooting for. Calm and relaxed are not quite the adjectives that come to mind with RV living. Mm, not yet. <laughs> but maybe we'll get there. But one thing is, we I have felt zero that we have been camping. Feels very much like we're not camping. Yeah. At and, all. Because yeah, we've been very, living at home. We yeah, were living at home before we It very much has RV'd. a home feel. That yeah. was the intent of the decorations and things. But, like, I, for example, spend all day. Like, at our last site, I don't think I left... I don't think I literally left the RV for, like, 24 hours or more. Just because I just sit right there and do my job. And so well, look i'll show you see i just i've got my pad here and my pad here because my bum starts to hurt in this cheap little light chair and i hold here and kind of squeeze in like this and then just tuck in and there you go you're good and for good. you're good for 13 hours and i've got the ambient light back here which is good and i turn on this little fan and then i watch the temperature here because this is the hottest spot because it's farthest away from the AC and it all gets collected so right now it's at 81 and it goes up to like 99 is the highest I've seen it but not anymore but this, we just hit this, our hot week so we're done but this blows and so it blows like hot air on me but you know it's it's blowing so and then so we got blow that this, hot air blowing and then I blow that and then I put a fan in there to blow the AC into here but I'm good like it's perfect so I just <laughs> sit here and I have my nuts and I eat my my thing of nuts here and I have my little cup of water and I just tappity tappity type type type, Mr. Businessman, and, and then I sleep. I just like this, like just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's then, actually true. Sometimes then, you do do that. <laughs> and then and then it's time to get up and just oh, whoop. <laughs> and, and then <laughs> typey typey type type type. Uh, so not camping. This isn't camping here. No, you camping. can't do that camping. <laughs> can't do that camping. So you know it's going it's okay fun. though. <laughs> Why are you smiling? I'm excited. What are you excited about? Because this is a nice place to camp. It feels like what I thought all of our thousand trails and adventures were actually going to be like. And this is where? We deemed it worthy to hang up the twinkle lights. So we're in Yosemite Lakes Thousand Trails, and there's a beautiful tree line all around and it smells like campfires there's no city close by it was quite an adventure to get here and as soon as we got here allison said this is amazing we're gonna hike every day <clears throat> see the sun starting to set over the trees but it's just a spot i mean there's nothing fancy about the campsite itself. Uh, you can do fires here. Most of the other campsites you couldn't. Uh, but it's just the trees. I think Allison has a thing for trees. I do have a thing for trees. <clears throat> I was so excited. I almost bought our sticker before I'd even seen anything. And I thought, no, no, no. I should actually go to Yosemite National Park before I buy a Yosemite sticker. But we have our outside blankets because it's kind of getting chilly already. So exciting. So we're gonna have a campfire and do hot dogs and this will be our first camping feel. Everything so yeah. far has felt like we're just kind of parked. Yeah, RV and, uh, parking. You know, RV parking. <laughs> yeah. But this finally feels like camping. Maybe because it's chilly. 
That could well, be part of it. You can do fires and there's woods. And you, woods. and you want to be outside here. Yes. Everywhere else was kind of like... You wanted not eh. to be outside. And it's maybe like, it's because we don't have a neighbor directly next to us. They'll probably come tomorrow. But even still, I think it would still... Even still, yeah, I think it would still feel... It has the nicer. appearance of open space because it was the middle of nowhere getting here. Yeah. We like middle of nowheres. We do like middle of nowhere. It just feels more... And um, it's super uh, safe enough. I mean, because it's in the middle of nowhere. So the kids are at the playground. We don't even know what they're doing. We don't even know what they're doing. That's the first. You can Aside see the playground. It's only, you know, but maybe in a public space. Maybe two hundred yards away, but this may be the first time. Yeah, hundred yards away. But this may be the first time where we're just like, Okay kids, see ya. Come back when it's dark. Because we've never lived anywhere or been anywhere that we could ever do that. Meet friends. Go meet friends. Yeah. We would do that at our house, but no, nowhere in a public space we would ever say that. Yeah. I'm excited for the stargazing tonight. Are you going to get any work done? That's the real question. One, I don't know if Starlink will pick up the internet. We'll see. But we two, don't have any cell service here. Two, do we? Do you even want to bother doing work when there's this? I, know, I could just fall off the face of the map and check in with everybody next Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, that would be irresponsible. <laughs> Let's check on that sunset. Yeah, looks about the same. But it's a pretty silhouette. Nestled, made even more beautiful with Mr. Cedar Creek. Still don't have a name for him. We'll figure it out. Flower with an orange middle. Or a green flower with a golden middle. Isn't there like a lily? My name's Lily. Okay, there's a daisy and a tulip and a rose. And a water lily. Yes, I put the water lily in my hair. Oh. You put the water lily in your hair. You look rather beautiful. What do you do? Look at yourself in the mirror, talk through the pipe, lay on your needle pile and take a nap. Okay, I'm gonna talk through the pipe and ask the mirror something. Okay, you go to the mirror like a service person. You go to the mayor and ask him something. The mayor says, what's it something? I asked him, um, is there like a local transportation, like a bus? Maybe? The mayor says, we don't have a bus. Allison's first cookie making, even though it's no bake cookies. <laughs> This is the cookies I've made for my whole life. She's I know them by heart. She's even using the special pop out. Yeah, decided this uh, is counter. I think this is the first time that we use this. It's the it's official pretty. cookie cookie cooling place, mm -hmm. I guess. Got her stool out and everything. Mm -hmm. Cook mm. them over her little propane stove. Yeah, don't mind the mess. How'd they turn out? Mm. Not my best batch, but they're not bad. Well done. Okay, hey, here we are in somewhere California. Just we're here for a quick quick stop last night. We were not feeling especially um especially positive last night but as always things always look better in the morning we're loaded up ready to go and get checked into our next stop you need like jesus kind of needs like i'm doing this sort of metaphorically but um jesus can't make everyone feel the spirit so he needs messengers and stuff to send the spirit to people um so he like but like like mail service if your mailbox is broken like or if your heart's broken yeah or if your door inside your heart is shut 
then the mail can't get to you. So you need to know about Christ. So you need to like get to know them. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. I belong to the church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. I know who I am. I know God's plan. I'll follow Him in faith. I believe in the Savior Jesus Christ. Great. With this. We got the lights and the canopy set and up. And then we're gonna go to the beach thing. Grace, what was Grace, what was your job to set up? You're positioning the pumpkin decor. Good. Yep. Make sure that goes right where it goes. Good. We got the carpet up. Caitlin and Ellie helped with the front jack. Can you point to the front jack, Ellie or Caitlin, and show me what you did? Um. Uh... I don't know what they did, she did at all. Okay, come show me she the back jacks. She put that down in my wood at perfectly. Yeah. We got the wheel chocks on yeah. and the stabilizers. Put it so that the, these thingies are underneath here. And then we put in a thing that made it go down. Excellent. Which is so Ellie's one. working on this side, but now we've got briars and it's kind of at an angle. So we'll do our best. Might need to chalk that up. Let's see how Ellie's doing. How's it going, Ellie? Not easy. Oh dear. Got briars in the way, huh? I can't do this one. There you go. There you go. Now try. Oh, it's not getting in. Excellent. Now, turny, turn, turn. It's too. <laughs> oh dear. There are things in the way. It's a tough life. You're doing good. Well done. So, how does this birthday compare to other birthdays? Oh, it's also my first birthday in California. It's my first birthday in an RV. It's my first birthday that I celebrated intentionally not on my birthday day. My first birthday. With lawnmowers? Yeah, my first birthday with lawnmowers actively going. Normally there's snow sometimes. First birthday on the river, first birthday in the redwoods, first birthday where I went to church with strangers. So all those things combined make this the best birthday ever? It's been a lovely birthday. It's been an ideal birthday for me where everybody's just had the low key, no worrying about presents, no worrying about like <clears throat> making it the best day ever. Uh, it's been very good. Every day in the RV is the best day ever, isn't it? Each day it is better. It just happens to be that we're in a, I chose this place as my birthday week place. Yeah, it's by no coincidence that we are in the Redwoods for your birthday. Yeah. And it's been lovely. Love you, Allison. We love you. Happy birthday, dear Allison. Actually, happy like birthday. birthday happy birthday. To Feliz cumpleaños. No All right. Happy birthday. Happy, happy, birthday. happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday to you. Blossom, just a singing bird, just a little laughing book, or a happy world. Just a bit of blue sky, a bit of old screen time, or what little things it takes to show us God. Oh, love, Grace. I love it. That is perfect for me. Thank you. Can I go next? 
Lovely. I most wonderful, most um best, most um cute, and most money. <laughs> most cute. Made me all these nice notes. They stuck around everywhere for me. Any pink square is a note that Nathan put up. Not just in the bedroom. Not in the shower, bathroom, pretty much everywhere. Fun, exciting scavenger hunt. All over. Inside the cabinets, inside the fridge, all over the place. Super fun. And a lovely husband. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Because of his dyslexia, it's difficult for him to work on his own. He's trying to do math and trying to learn about grammar, but it's very difficult for him to read the instructions. So he needs help, and then it's always, usually mom and Colby are the last to finish school. The girls are out playing. How's it going? I just did this. And I did that, and I'm looking at this, and then I'm done with school. And then I have to do my writing part. Have fun with school. Three, three, two, three. What do you normally do for school? What? So, usually we write in our travel notebooks. Yeah, what And then we do with Dad, and then we do math and language. Well, well me, I we do, do my CC math, then math. Then language arts, and then I do reading, and then I do my writing prompt. My school schedule is, well, wake up, stay awake for a little, and stay in bed, and then log on to Lift Dead after Dan times off, do a Zoom meeting, do my explore time, play some games, and then Dad tells me you need to do your travel book in your school, so I do my travel book. And and then I do math, and then I do language arts, and then you, sometimes I do Duolingo. Cool. Do you guys like your classroom? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is our tent. I'm just sitting out here on a lovely bench with my lunch and a magazine with home there in the background up against the Redwood National Forest here next to the Klamath River it goes out to the ocean just around the bend there and I'm gonna have my lunch break seems like a nice little spot to have a lunch break it's a beautiful day could get used to this it's November 2nd and I just wanted to document that today is the first rainy day that we've had. <laughs> well, here, let's just take a look and see the nice cloudy Pacific Northwest. Look at those clouds! So this is where the real test begins, the real adventure. And it just feels really exciting to to be at a point where, like, okay, now's where we really see if we can handle this. We can handle the rain. So let's just do a, a real, a real life tour here. Here's what the, here's what the kids' living room looks like post Halloween. Yes, yes, everything is messy. I need one. They're more. supposed to be doing school, but it looks like they're doing prodigy. I'm not. Some of my candy. Yep, they're, they're, all of my candy. Yep. I'll Some of my candy. I'll take this all one. my candy. Let's go outside. Shall we? We got our canopy up. And it's a beautiful. Oh my gosh. How lovely is this? We got misty fog. And I'm just gonna enjoy this for a second. The house or the RV gets messy really fast. But it's also really fast to clean it up, so it doesn't take a whole lot. It means that we have to stay on top of cleaning more often, vacuuming more often, and because it gets on my nerves faster. 
work has been going well for Nathan. He's able to get good internet um, so far. We'll see how this cloudiness does. That's the biggest thing is I, you know, just being able to have days where I can get stuff done. <gasps> oh dear. Is this your motto, Allison? Yes. So what have you learned about laundry in the RV? So this is nice because I get <laughs> the most we've done is three duffel bags full of laundry at a time. It takes all day when it's this few because there's only two washers and two dryers. So I did like five loads. Um, I just finished the last one. So Do you always do it at the um, campsite or you go into town sometimes? Um, I do it in the campsite if I can because it's cheaper. So this is only like $12. just twice that for going into town. So... Things get pretty stinky. Bodies get really stinky. So when everybody washes all the time, then it's not a problem if you like don't do your laundry as often. Um, but when you don't take showers every day, which we don't, we take them every few days, then and you just change your undies or whatever, you you end up having really stinky clothes. So some of the things I've had to wash twice because they were just that stinky. Um, not naming any names, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, so. Poor little Grace, huh? <laughs> it wasn't Grace. <laughs> this video is over. <laughs> okay. Next. Oh, yeah, what? and this is Sparkles. Her position is also distract. She's also a very good chomple. Our, our, our. Ah. That's the tape again. Boom. And you can go. Boom. 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 Pretty cute, suit, sick girl. You gonna sleep? Mm. Okay, love you. Well, after our first sick kid, we decided to try to take care of the air a little bit. So we got these and, uh, called damp grids that collect the water out of the air. And got three of those and that worked for a little bit. And then we got a new little mini dehumidifier, and that's collecting some water, which is good. And then we got an air purifier. It's got a filter in it, and then a little, it's supposed to make ions in the air. And so that should help filter the air a bit, because the trick about RVs is that because it, uh, we haven't been running the furnace, we've just been doing electric heaters like this, the air isn't circulating at all. So hopefully between the purifier and the humidifier and the fan, we can get some air circulating. 
so that these cute little things won't get sick. And this particular one is pretending to be a puppy right now. Any words for the camera? Uh, I don't know. She's nuzzling this to me. Oh. Oh, she maybe she's having confusion. She wants to, to become a puppy. Oh. oh, here, girl. Here, come outside. Come on. Come on. Let's go potty. Let's go potty. Come on. She's going to go back into her cave. Let's follow her into the cave. There she goes, into the cave. Oh, dear. Bye-bye. Ellie decided to draw in the forest today as part of her school. She found a fun little tree to sit on. It's a long sideways tree. What you drawing? I'm, well, I'm trying to draw that tree right wow. there and the path around it and the plants around it. Yeah. But it's more hard than I thought it would be. And that's perfect. And we've been exploring a bit. Looks great. Keep working at it. And is it time for um, mom to wake up yet? She's awake. your tree. Well, this is the angel. And she's very pretty. Very pretty. I'm going to turn off the light so you can see what it looks like in the dark. Ta-da! Wow, look at that tree. It's beautiful. It and is beautiful. No. I'll hang one back here. Oh, good. Merry I'm Christmas, everyone. Things. Fly. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. 2023. What you working on, Caitlin? Pumpkin pie. What? Pumpkin pie. Fun. We got all sorts of other food. I went and bought like this food, and then Allison went and bought this food, and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> What's on the menu today? So we're gonna have mashed potatoes and pumpkin pie. 
green bean casserole, baked beans, sweet potato casserole, ham, uh, fruit salad, normal salad. All the good stuff. Yes. Feast. You're good. An RV feast. You licking it out already? What? <laughs> She's We're gonna eat in here at the fancy table. The other kids what are hiding. The table? We told them not to look, so Grace is not Get looking. Down. Okay, we're well on our way with Thanksgiving dinner preparations. We've got the Instant Pot, got the air fryer, got the stove, got the oven, got the, the microwave, got the stirring, got the fan on. Try and rent out the steam because that's what happens. We even have on our electric mixer. Happy Thanksgiving Day! Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! 2023. Here's our oh. ham. Oh. Broggy bites. Oh. Rolls. Oh. Rolls. Oh. Mashed potatoes. Oh. Yeah. Beans. Oh. <laughs> Stuffing. Oh. Was it a good Thanksgiving? Your most like, favorite Thanksgiving of the year? There's probably gonna be like ten Thanksgiving. Oh my life! This is one of the best Thanksgivings I've had. Why yeah. is that? Hmm? Why? Maybe it's because we're in an RV, or maybe it's because my double is delicious. These trailers are very sad. And it's all gluten and free. It. No, no, no. Because you're not amazing. Because you're all amazing. One at a time. Dishwasher works very well in the RV.